Welcome to today's demonstration. I'm working on a poured watercolor. As you can see here, this looks like an absolute mess. And right now it actually is a complete mess. But the whole thing is pretty much covered in masking fluid at this point in time. I've done like six or seven different layers to get to this. So you can kind of see the shine of where some of the masking fluid is. And you can tell in the darkest areas is where it isn't. So that was the very last pour I did. This was my reference image from uh, the Piazza di San Marco in Venice, Italy. And you see I'm working from a black and white. I never work from color photographs because when I paint, when I do paintings, you know, we're the artists, we can make whatever colors we want. So when I'm working from a black and white, I don't think about, oh, the sky has to be blue. I think about, well, the sky just has to be this value and this should be this value. It makes me think less in terms of color and more of values. So that's why I work from black and white. So this is hopefully I'm going to end up getting here in a second. Now, the step I have to do here is take off all the masking fluid. The best way to take off masking fluid is with other masking fluid. This is a big ball of disgusting junk. But I keep all these and I give them to my students. You know, So if you take a workshop, you might get a ball of this. Yay! But whatever it does, and you can use, uh, you can use your hands to get masking fluid off the paper. You can use rubber cement erasers but I prefer just balls of masking fluid. And I'll show you here. So we're gonna start taking this off. Pretty sure this whole thing is dry. You do wanna make sure it's dry, otherwise it's gonna start rubbing color all over the place. All right, and you see how much lighter that is underneath it? Wow. Look at the difference. I mean, that's actually, we've got some light popping out now. It looks great. I mean, just compare this to this. I mean, this is the, the Pebio masking fluid and a combination of Lucas and Graphics. I switch back and forth between the three, depending on how fluid or not fluid I want them to be. And yeah, I mean, this, it looked, looks horrible before you start taking it off. So the best part about the masking fluid is it's plastic. So once you get a big ball of this stuff, if you throw it, since it is plastic, it's just going to bounce right back to you. So if the kids get a little unruly or the dog starts barking, you just flip it at them and half the time it comes right back. It's great. See, this is where I spattered masking fluid in one of the previous stages. And I don't necessarily like how it looks right now, but what I do is I go back in here with one of the other three colors. I only use three colors on this. And the colors I used are written here, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, and rose matter. I know I used rose matter, but I didn't write it. So I'll go back in with one of those three colors, you know, so it stays the same. It doesn't, it's not a completely foreign color, and I'll kind of tone those down a little bit. Now I'll go back up to the sky here. And now we're going to continue this painting. Wait, 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 I'm trying to work here, kids! Stop complaining! Terrible throw, you can't, you couldn't hit a truck. They weren't for you, little dope. <laughs> See how much bigger the ball is right now? It's growing. See, that was an area I just forgot the mask, but you know, I don't mind that. It kind of goes along with what's up here. It's pretty good. I think it's all the mask and fluid is off. So now what I'm going to have to do is go back, do a little bit more work with pushing and pulling, kind of get, getting some of these spots and not jump out so much. Maybe putting a little bit more texture back up into here to kind of copy some of these areas, indicate more foreground, background. I like this area so far. So yeah, we'll just diffuse a couple edges and we'll finish it. And here's the final painting. I went in and I changed a few things. I toned down those white spots in the foreground 
and then I went up to the upper left hand corner in the sky and I got rid of some watermarks then I made a few other push-pull adjustments on some things including the lights and the lamppost but the painting was pretty much done when most of the masking food was pulled off hope you guys enjoyed today's painting demonstration of watercolor pouring I have some more videos in the future again my name is Ryan Fox you can check out more of my work at rfoxphoto.com or my Etsy shop at rfox watercolors thanks a lot happy painting Did you hear that? That was weird.